All right, we've got a Castle Serenity now pellet stove. I think there's a 2012. They have two different models. This is the older one of the two, I believe. Has this little LCD up here. It's unplugged right now. Come to this remote. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a great great pellet stove. Good customer service. Um, they've always helped out. We're gonna try and replace something on today because basically when I hit on everything everything works as far as diagnostics on here saying that there's vacuum and the this is closed as well as this door um, it feeds it pellets and they never light so from the manual it looks like that's probably just the igniter tube which would make sense basically under your top in that in this hole right here you can't quite see in there but there's a little that's the end of the igniter tube and that's what heats up the pellets and initially starts it. Once it, once there's a flame in there, then it turns off. But yeah, it just feeds pellets and never lights. So I've been having to manually light it until we got this part in. I'll put a link in the description. It is, looks like this. This is the igniter tube. So mine's set up. I haven't actually taken off the exhaust and stuff. This came with the house. Um, so anytime I've done work on this, like I've replaced the power switch and stuff down there. Yeah, I know it hangs out now. I've had to replace it twice and that little thing's super hard to get on, so I just left it out. But basically there's a screw here and a screw down there, right here. Um, so I'll start by taking off this side and see if I can access that igniter tube in the middle. And if I can't, then I'll go to the other side and do it over there. We'll see. Oh, then there's one. There's one more screw. There might be two, actually. I think I did put one back in. There might be a screw down there. And then there's one more right there. I um, can't remember if there's one on the bottom that I put back in or not, but this one's gonna take a little shorter pops, I think. Oh, no, I can get it. So when you have all this open here, you wanna vacuum all that out, clean it all out. Oh, uh, let's see. Yep. All right. I think we found it. I think we can access it. Okay, we found it. It's right. It's that red wire down there. It's that red wire. And then the igniter tube goes in there. Plugs in. It's this red wire. Plugs in down there. Right there. Down there. There's some zip ties holding uh red wire here down there kind of in place I pulled on it a little bit pop and it broke one of them which is fine um, I just wanted to give myself a little more slack to pull to get that connector off um, pretty simple connector just pinch the pinch the sides and pull it apart Pinch the two sides on the other end, on the tube, and then just pull the connector out. Come that easy. All right, looks like we need to take off the left-hand side of the of the Serenity now the stove. Get to that igniter igniter kit or the igniter, pretty much. This thing that we're replacing. So that's how we do it. There's a screw right here. Should be a screw down here. Mine's not on there. I took it out. There's one down there. This one. Take that one off. And then there's probably one up here. Take this one off right here. I'm missing some because I've taken this thing off a couple times. Doing different things. Um, and I lose screws. Or I don't want to put them back on. I don't know. Or maybe they weren't there in the first place. There's that one. Okay. I need short Phillips for that one. My Phillips won't fit back there. That just comes off. All right. While we're in here, I'm gonna vacuum. I'm gonna vacuum all this, all this dust and debris out. And yeah, you can see actually this is the side to get to because you have that screw right there, that retaining screw. All right, let's get to vacuuming.
vacuum we picked up pretty recently. This is just part of it, basically. It's a cordless shark um, ion duo clean. So this pops off and the whole, this is pretty much the whole vacuum, but then the whole wand part comes down to vacuum floors and big rechargeable battery here. This thing's pretty sweet. Put a link for this too. Um, the suction isn't quite as much as the normal duo clean that has a, has a cord, but for the convenience of having it cordless and the different things it can do, it's pretty amazing. We can just take that off and just use it as a little cordless vacuum like that's super nice. All right, let's take out this screw right in here. Now, hopefully this is actually bad and I didn't just, it's not just a wire that was loose or something. From what I could tell, that connector was, uh, it was on there good. I think this thing's probably just going bad. We use the stove a lot here our house in the winter, so it's running. Uh, 10, 12, 10, 12 hours a day. Probably five months out of the year. All right, I see that screw. That's a screw I'm not gonna wanna not put back in. Put that screw back in for sure. Let's see, okay. Super simple, so basically, it's just these two little, these two little retaining. So you basically just slide in around the tube and you just screw in one. Holds it in. You know what? There might have been two on here. Hmm. There's only one on mine. But this should just slide out now. Yep. Here it is. Here's the old one. It's hard to you can't really tell if it's bad unless you test it. Mine, I'm pretty sure, is bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug mine in. I'm gonna run it and see if it heats up. So here's the new one. Here's the connector. Down here. I'm just gonna run it just, just enough to see if this thing gets warm. If it gets warm, it's good. Plug it back into that connector down there. There we go. And let's see, there shouldn't be a problem turning it on like this. Okay. Oh, man. Turn on like normal. And yep, it's already hot. I'm turning it off. This thing's already hot. Immediately gets hot. Yep. Ooh. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Um, that's awesome. I actually have to let this cool down now. <laughs> I can put it back in. So I'm gonna put it. Ouch. Yep, it's a little hot. Put it back in the tube. And then, so I'm gonna not feed pellets, I turn you off. Yeah, it's off, okay. Put my clips back around it. Kind of just holds it in place, that's all these things really do. Yeah, the screw is actually tightening down from what I can tell. It's crazy how quick that thing is. It just immediately got, right when it had voltage, it was just hot. I have a more, more of appreciation for this thing now since I've been letting it manually. Just how awesome these pellet stoves are. They're very, very simple. I mean, it's super basic stuff which is really cool for stuff breaks, just like, there's no, there's nothing to it. The igniter is back in. It's 37 degrees in here, I have it set for 72. Let's hit on. We've got vacuum, lids closed. It's a 
igniting. Um, I have my sensor changed, so it actually doesn't uh, it doesn't read if this is open or not. Um, yeah, so you can change the sensor on the sides, depending on how much vacuum it needs for the, to trip that sensor. Um, I I did it because it wasn't. Uh, I probably replaced that sensor. I just adjust the sensitivity, and now it's good. Before the sensor never closed. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I guess I could fix that at some point, but we don't run it with it open. I did need to, and I manually lit it though. <laughs> I was manually lighting it. I guess I could have cleaned my glass before I did this, so you can see. See the little embers coming up? So we know it's working. It's hot in there. Just like that. Vacuum it creates, just bust through and it's it's lit. It's fixed. Nice. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got we got more tips for this thing. I was thinking about doing a video of all my optimal settings to get the most heat, least amount of pellets, least amount of energy used. Um, I've gone through a lot of different settings to Figure out the optimal. If we get good feedback on this one, I'll make another video on that. There she is. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Merry Christmas. Stay warm.